Greetings and welcome back to Shapes.io. I'm Catherine of Sky and we have just a few shapes left until we hit that magical 800 of the red circles. Now somebody um, mentioned to me, which I think was absolutely great, I didn't notice that when you pick up one of these items, uh, on the right, it does say how fast it goes, eight items a second, uh, and then the hotkey for these things as well. And like for the extractor miner, uh, 0.8 items a second, and then tunnels, I think are probably the same speed as belts. Uh, anyway, um, I don't know if I'm going to do calculations on the fly or probably more likely just like guess and check and just observe and uh, expand from there. Because I think that's the way most people are going to play this. Uh, anyway, we have unlocked a variant of the rotator. It allows to rotate counterclockwise. To build it, select the rotator and press T to cycle its variance. That sounds great. All right, so let's, oh gosh, I feel like I want to slow down the game because the belts are moving so fast. Um, all right, so let's look at this rotator here. And if we press, does it have a hotkey for us? No. Why is that not listed here? Okay, I need to write that on my suggestions for um, development to have that thing. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, I just didn't see it because of the color of the machines. Okay, it is on the screen. Perfect. That is wonderful. So glad to see that. All right, we need these guys being dyed blue. So I think what we'll do is we're going to grab... Man, you know what we need? We need a double rotator. <laughs> um, okay, do we have any blue dye? There is some here. Oh, but hey, look what's more here. It's right next to the blue dye. I would really, really love if we could just copy these things. And um, yeah, we're going to have to unlock that though in the future. Okay, let's go ahead and get these guys. We need the, I believe that's right side. Let's just go back to the hub just to make sure. Uh, someone commented, and I think I did note this in, um, in the last episode, where you can see these guys are on a circle and it can show you that this was a right side piece. Um, so that can help. But anyway, um, how did we... We don't have anything dying at the moment, but maybe we can figure it out based on what these guys' speed is. So this is two items a second. So that means that the extractor can produce stuff and this will cut two items a second. This produces or is 0.8 items per second. So two extractors per cutter so that the cutters won't jam up. How about these? These are eight items a second. All right. And then balancer 16 items a second. There's basically a double belt worth. Uh, and these are eight items a second. Okay. So let's do this then. We need to have cutting. Is that same? Wait, cutting and dying. What, how much is this? Okay. Painting. We have new issues with painting. All right. Let's, uh, how many do we need again? <laughs> we need a lot. We need 1.2K. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just kind of go over and around and then, or maybe make the assembly here and then kind of take it down that away. That seems reasonable to me. So let's see, two extractors per cutter. Uh, so we'll do this and there. And how many do we want? This is a lot. How many do we, let me just check our upgrading thingies. Nothing can be upgraded at the moment. What are we needing? We still need these uncolored uh, right hand side pieces. So I think we'll keep those. That seems reasonable. Now these guys, we're gonna put these guys through the cutter. Um, okay, let's go there. So these guys are going to get cut. Yay. Okay. And then let's see which pieces come out of which end. So we need the right side pieces. Okay. So these need to get flipped. And these guys are eight items a second. And these are two items a second. I feel like I, I should kind of, I don't know, uh, put an undergroundy over here or something. Let's just do this. We'll combine like items. Oops, we need to change that a tiny bit. 
Okay, rotate this again. There we go. Put, oopsies. I, I gotta change these. As much as I love to change these, I, them visually in the wrong spots is driving me a tiny bit nuts. <laughs> I okay it's it'll be fine it'll be fine all right so we'll change this to two yes thank you and three okay hopefully hopefully maybe the dev will change that uh, for us to have them in the correct spots for visual you know one two three because that's how I see it in Factorio and even though I don't, I don't usually look at it if I happen to chance on looking at it yeah it messes me up for some reason so all right um there we go do this and go here and you guys are gonna get rotated twice <sighs> I don't know why I'm bothering to to do the combining bits Maybe it's just not even useful because I mean by the time we're at here this one can already be rotated twice and this one once All right, this is just not oh no this one can't be rotated at all, but this one certainly can um, Okay, you know what we're just gonna do this a different way Okay, so this is we need the right side. So this one needs to be rotated. So we're just gonna do rotate rotate Rotate, rotate, and combine. Whoopsies. Okay. Okay. All right. And then the total output of this here, this is 0.8 times 4. Uh, so that's 3.2 items per second, and a belt is 8. So we can actually put more of these guys on the belt. We can put actually four more of these guys on that belt which we might need to do um in any case i would like to set up a dying thing here uh from these guys now these guys are gonna extract uh, okay what is our dying thing how many do we want to make so if we do 3.2 a second right um let's get our die or painter thingy this is point Three, three. So we need 10 of these just to process those four extractors. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. Um, I think what I want to do is I want to go vertically here. We can go this way, perhaps. Um, maybe. Let's go. You know what? We'll go this way. This is probably better. So we're going to do this, and this is going to be very like what we did over here. And I, in fact, I wish we could copy this entire thing. So these guys need to be three apart. Um, okay, and we have we do have variants on this. We can go from the other side as well, which is nice. I kind of didn't see that last time I looked at this. And it's so funny how, like, you think, oh, well, yeah, KOS just started playing this game. Actually, I've played this game for several hours before I even started making the very first video. And it's funny how, like, you don't see certain things. I don't know. It's, it's easy to miss stuff. But anyway, that's three, six, uh, eight, uh, nine, and oopsies would help if I put it in the right spot okay there and there okay so let's just put in we need to have these going let's see yeah just before there and just before there and then opposite going the other way um, actually not we don't actually need them to go the other way we need here here and here so these guys between let's just do that that's quite easy to do Probably shouldn't have done the in-between ones, actually. I think if I would have done these guys, it's easier to see the white uh, thing. It's a tiny bit not like here. It's like, which way? Which way? Dyslexia, help. Um, we'll just put one there for consistency. And then this is between the white and the this guy. All right. So basically another three between these or diagonal stripes of these, however you want to visualize this. Again, I don't see any need for this to be this way. Um, it's a, a blueprints. Hello, we need them, help. Uh, okay, so let's try. We need to get these guys going on. 
So this one would go here to here. Uh, there to there. Yeah, basically going underneath these bits and pieces here. Thankfully, there's not too much to do here. Hooray. Okay. All right, let, now let's get these guys going on. We want to get the inputs in from this side, the curvy bits. We're thinking about all them good curves here. Like a little S shape. Actually, I could probably zoom out a tiny bit. Okay, and then these are quite easy. I like this. This is great. Uh, and of go from the right hand side, of course. No, 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 no. Okay, my bad, my bad. <laughs> it's just the whole getting out of the line. All right, and then these guys also, the right before the colory bit, that's where we need to add these single belts. Okay, and we should have enough production to deal with this particular thingy-majingy. So um, let's just get this one. And I hope I've calculated this right. Uh, if I haven't, we'll find out soon enough. It'll be fine. Um, all right. Now these guys, I guess we need four of these as well. Okay. One, two, three, and four. And then we go zoop. And more zooping. And I'm... There we go. Uh, let's go get this one. That's quite nice. There we go. Okay. Boom. Here we go. Now, with all good luck and with all good calculations, hopefully we should be able to get this done and out and going. So this one is going to need to go down here. Uh, let's just take this that way. All right. Perfect. Yep. This doesn't care which parts it takes in first. So that's quite nice. All right. I wonder if we delete some of this, if we can see some, uh, yeah, if we can see the line moving fast enough. I'm kind of worried about that just a tiny bit. <laughs> we might have, we might still need more of these to, oh, a new upgrade is available. Hooray. All right. Extraction. Whoa. Now that's going to mess up our extraction completely. It'll be fine though. It'll be fine. All right, we also need blue stars and then pink circles, but we do not have the color mixer yet. So we're gonna have to wait on that, uh, but we can get those blue stars organized. In fact, we can use some of this blue dye here and get these blue stars going on. Maybe we should. Uh, there is blue dye right over here. So maybe we should just add those here in a kind of a tasty little arrangement going on here. There we go. What we can do is let ones go from, I don't know, I don't, do we need any more stars, like plain stars? Yeah, we do. So we do need some plain stars, but not a lot. So we might even just kind of shuffle some of these stars into this area here and let them start building themselves up here. Okay, so there's three. Okay, three between. All right, and let's get our little tiny belts going on here. Actually, we'll get our painters going on. So these go here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. We have plenty, plenty, plenty of miners here anyway. So we don't have to really worry about this at all. Oh, no, no, no. I hate when I misplace stuff. It's like, no. And these go this way. So we can do kind of a nice little diagonal thingy majingy here. It's our nice little pattern. But I want to do everything that I can to make this work well and seamlessly. Okay, so these go here and here. Okay. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. boop. kind of funny trying to like find patterns that work for a person I don't know just the way you do things that kind of thing uh let's see we'll go here and actually kind of merge this I think that might be okay 
All right. Um, now, we need our undergroundies as well. That's kind of important. But yeah, this is a lot of busy work. I think the blueprints are unlocked way, 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 way too late. I feel like they should be unlocked the first time you actually get uh, the color stuff because the colorizing machines, what are they called? The painters, they're extremely slow. Uh, so I feel like they definitely should be, um, you know, uh, added to, to the blueprint timings. Um, or blueprints should be added to those timings, I should say. All right, there we go. Go. I'm not pressing shift, but it's fine. Okay, here we go. Aha! We need to get these guys going as well. We need to get some of these shapes into the hoppers. Get those painted, and here they go. Nice! Oh, oh, they're going, they're going, hooray! <laughs> and we have our first blue stars coming off the line here. As we see, lots and lots of these things are getting made. Um, obviously, our extractors are now twice the speed <laughs> as before. I really don't want to make this array again. It's going pretty quickly. Is there anything else that we can do in the meantime? We might want to um, add more production here. Oh no, this is the wrong color. <gasps> no. Oh, darn it. It's cyan, not blue. Silly me. No. Okay, so we're going to take this off, all right? And we'll we'll figure something. It'll be fine. We'll just get blue stars for a while. <laughs> In any case, we have colors elsewhere, which I'm just going to reuse this painting array and get the cyan colored ones when we need that to happen. Obviously, this was just a tiny mistake, but it's, you know what? We were pre-building. This is for future KOS. Future KOS is going to thank past KOS for thinking about her. It is pretty fabulous. Okay, so do we need anything else? Uh, we need fuchsia. Um, yeah, shapes, 15,000 of them, quite a lot. We need to make these guys. Now, what we can do is kind of look at making these bits and pieces. Uh, even though we don't have the colors yet, we could potentially dye some circly bits and then combine those with the starry bits. Uh, we don't have the combining machine yet, but that could be something that we need. Uh, let's go and see. What is this again? Let's pin this. Just we like, huh? What is this thing? We need this thing to happen. Uh, let's see. We need circles and we need green, obviously, close by. We could from here, maybe. There's green and red and blue. I don't remember which ones combine with which. I know the primary color, rainbowy, like what combines together, but I don't know this version. I think it's the uh, CMYK, perhaps, maybe. No, we don't have yellow here. So this is a different version. Someone please help me out in the comments. What am I thinking of? I just can't remember it at this moment. In any case, we have almost the requisite amount of these little blue half squares. Um, and hopefully we'll be... Hello? Are we done? Looks like it's rounding up a tiny bit. Would be nice if it didn't hit the completed amount until we actually got the completed. But here we have the mixer. Combine two colors using additive blending with this building. Now the cool thing is, oh, and I should have looked at the little swirly thing because you can actually see red plus green makes yellow and red plus blue makes purple and purple and green make cyan. So yay. Uh, oh, and this is, this is one thing that we definitely need. Now, do we need plain circles. Yes. I keep thinking like, can I convert these plain circles into something else? But the answer is not yet. Um, we do. Well, we actually have 9k of these, but I feel like it's going to ask for some insane amount. So let us just go ahead and do those fuchsia circles for the moment. Now we have a nice big representation of what we want to do here. So we're looking for a red patch near a blue patch near some circles. So red and blue, here's red and blue. We can combine the paint uh, and then go to the circles here. That might be a pretty okay way of doing things. Now let's go ahead and look at our com color mixer. We have two colors that combine and one comes out. Oh, a new upgrade is available, how nice. All right, let's look at this. Oh, boom. Okay, and we still need to keep delivering these darn things. <laughs> nice. Okay, there we are. Um, 
And this, I'm wondering, is that... I don't think we can make that shape yet. I think that that's not... Unless, is it? It's not this shape, is it? No, I don't think it's the shape. Uh, like cut up and then rearranged. I'm not sure. Well, we'll figure it out soon enough. Um, it might be actually the way it's... I don't know. We'll find out about it. It'll be fine. Um, so yes, we were on our fuchsia circles making this thing. So kind of we're going to do the same exact thing here. Ah, now how do we want to do this? We could have both belts coming from the same side or not. Um, do we need... I think we might need space between them because if we have split off, so for blue, for example, coming here and there, we're gonna need a... We're gonna need the belt turning off here and then this belt is gonna go forward and then this... We have to have the undergroundy taking this one from this side, right? Okay, so this is probably the minimum space between each area that we're gonna have here. So I think we're gonna have red coming from this side and then blue coming from this side. Uh, all right, so let us just come up with a nice little pattern here. What level are we? Hello? Hello, I want blueprints, help! I really want them. I really wish we had this because it seems like a lot of busy work to do without like getting much benefit from it. Now these guys are 1.2 items a second, which is great. So how much to fill a belt? This is eight items a second. So let's see, eight divided by 1.2. Oh my God, the calculators are coming out. All right, we can do 6.6. .6. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the rest of these, are done all right so this is fine for now let's just start off with one belt of color stuff okay now these are gonna go this way okay and we're gonna have the color flowing down this way okay these alt Nice. All right, excellent. All right, I'm gonna get this glued on this way. Uh, all right, now these, yep, there we go. This is how we wanna do this. And undergroundies, right? All righty, okay. So one color coming from here and then one color coming from there. Now, how many of these can we go per second? 1.6. So, uh, belt of eight divided by 1.6 is five. So we need five extractors to fill a belt. Are they, or wait, are the belt, belts still the same? Yeah, the belts are still the same. So I am not going to go back and fix all the other things that we've done. I don't feel that it is worth our time, uh, at the moment to do that. So we'll just kind of uh, deal with that later. Okay, let's go here and here, and then this can go just that way. There we go. All right. Uh, and then we need another five over here. Four, five. Uh, boom. Okay, there we go. Nice. Now then, we have, there's our circles over here. So I think we'll kind of pass by here. And what is the painter at again? So now we're getting the fuchsia paint. This is great. This is fabulous, actually. Um, and then we need to do, it does one item a second. So eight, we're just going to need eight painters in that case. So we want, let's see, we have, we can go T and have the um the color coming from that side from the left i think that will work pretty well one two three four five six seven eight okay that's fine um now then this one goes there 
and here and here. All right. This nice diagonal thing going on here. Quite a cool little combo. I'm glad they kind of told us about like you can press T for this because I, I just hadn't seen it. It's such a funky thing. All right. This one goes there. And then let's see. The color goes in right over here. And we're going to have our meet the undergroundies going this way. Okay, there we are. And then the combinery thingy majingies. Thingy madoodles, thingy majingies. Yay. Go. Okay, these guys go in this way. Come on. Work it. Okay, and this is going to be our output. This is great. So alt to make this go backward. Hooray. Okay. So uh, circles coming in through that line. Our fuchsia little bits and pieces coming in through this one. I forgot that I actually still need a splitter right there. So, um, extractors, 1.6 items a second. And let me just make sure again, eight divided by 1.6 is five. Okay. Let's see, we have a one, three, four, five. That may seem like a really strange way of combining them, but it's just fine. It will work. Um, actually we could do, that goes uh, there, um, we can go there, sure. All right, there we go. So now this should be dyeing all of our circles the correct color. I was just looking and making sure I combined all those lanes and indeed I did I just had a weird uh weird moment there but it's just fine now all right let us get this stuff going on alt to reverse the flow of the belts from the way it should think or it thinks you're going no 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 go away go away okay and then go down at a place of our choosing and hook into the hub and there we go okay okay game is is quite happy with us look at this we're getting all the things and all the stuff and now we can actually make these stars happen um we can make half stars at the moment which are blue was that the project we were working on or no we were actually working on these little guys so let's go ahead and uh click those and make the full stars to be the cyan color, which is blue plus green. Now we do have green over here and I think we should make another one of these factories uh, for color making. Uh, and it says 1.2, Did we, how many did we need again for this? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Okay, six factories making color stuff, hooray. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and we had our splitters like this. And then these guys on top like that. Okay. It's so funny the repeatable patterns these make. I really enjoy that. It's kind of, I don't know, interesting. All right, let's get these guys going on. Oops, shift, hello? Hello? Oh, what, wait, why? Oh, I guess I don't need to press shift. It's fine. Just like not thinking, it's good though. Okay, these guys are actually going without me rotating the, the belt, which is kind of fun. Uh, all right, so these we need. Are these, wait, did I mess up the spacing on this? I did, I did. These should have one space between. Okay, so let's go and fix that. Tiny bit faster with the mouse scrolling instead. So let's just get rid of all of those. 
and we need one space between instead. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. And these guys are going to be slipping under those belts which are not yet placed, but that's where they go. I'm just adding those extra bits in case we decide that we want more there. Okay, there we go. Let's take this out and into the color maker. Hooray! Okay. These guys. Let's do that. Okay. And then I think we needed five. Just kind of look. There we go. Let's see. Three, four, and five. All right, works for me. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was trying to sneak it in. I kind of had a feeling that it wouldn't work, but that's okay. It went through anyway. All right, so here we are. We're going to get our cyan made and we're going to get those cyan stars going on. This is exciting. Oh, our first piece. Oh, 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 and here comes the star. Hooray. There it goes. Let's twinkle. This is going to be fab. So it looks like we are getting stars off the line here, which is good. Um, I'm wondering if we should remove some of these guys. Let's see. These are making 1.6 items a second. So we only need five to fill up the belt. I think I'm going to take them off so that they just fill up and don't overcrowd the belt. Because we do want these guys to come back onto the belts. Yeah, there we go. This. Okay. Are they all going on? I think some of them are... <sighs> hmm. I don't know if we're doing enough of this colorizing here. Let's see. 1.2. Let's see. 8 divided by 1.2 is 6.6. .6. So 1, 2, 3. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these guys should be eating all of the stars. But I suspect it is splitting as in it's letting some go forward uh, anyway. But it does look like these are full. They are clumping up a tiny bit. But there's still something not quite right. I wonder if I'm miscalculating something. I don't know. It's not actually that important since everything is getting through eventually. And so we are working on this. 20 thousand needed holy fuzzy cats that's a lot my goodness but at least we got um we're getting these guys but i think this this process feels very slow what's going on with this have i miscalculated these colors here hmm. oh 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 we did miss one of these guys or maybe i miscalculated the uh the painting process speed 1.2 items a second Okay, so am I dividing this wrong? Maybe I should do, is it 1.2 divided by 8? Surely not. No, that's not right. That's definitely not right. Um, but it feels quite strange. These are definitely not going at an item per second. Oh my goodness. You know why? Probably because the KOS did not connect the actual things. <laughs> You know what? Future Chaos is really happy because the comments would have mentioned that. I'm sure that people might have mentioned that. <laughs> Pardon past Chaos, like recently past Chaos. She wasn't thinking. It's fine though. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, we did find the error. Hooray! Okay, so now we should have masses of stuff, scads of stuff coming in. That's the kind of numbers we're looking for. Excellent. Now, is there anything else that I forgot over here while we're thinking about this? Um, possibly, maybe. So far, it looks... Ah, uh, I did make a mistake there. We're missing that one. Okay. I was like, why are these numbers not working? It should work. Come on. <laughs> And this one I think wasn't working because we aren't actually getting enough of this stuff. 
Um, but these guys, again, I think they're splitting based on, okay, the last one went into this hopper, last one went out, whatever. But this, having the extra one here, should be producing the full belt and should get to these farther machines. And I think that's part of the problem, but I think we do have too many. Yeah, because I think there's, there's fewer and fewer of these guys. Yeah, look at how long it's been since we've had a gray. Okay, yeah, very, very few getting through there. This is quite good. This is very, very exciting. Okay, so I think this is probably a great time to end this episode, but look at all this awesome material getting into our central hub. Goodness knows what the people inside that hub use all these shapes for. I Maybe they're making like cake decorations or something. I have no idea. Like we can think of this as a society of people putting like those little candy pieces on cakes or something. And they just like have more and more crazy clients who demand wild and, and, uh, crazy like shapes and stuff and things and stuff and at some point there's uh funky shapes and even layered shapes that you can get into uh so but that is a problem for tomorrow uh kos not today but i hope you have enjoyed this episode thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time <laughs>